Hey there, it's Eugenio Sabo here. And today I actually have a video which I think is very important for any e-commerce store right now. And honestly, this is such a key component for your online store. I really hope you enjoy it because this is honestly a game changer. Looks simple, but many brands actually neglect this. So before we dive straight into this, you might be wondering, why on earth should I listen to this guy? So I am Eugenio Sabo and I'm the CEO and founder of Voico Incubator. At the incubator, we add an extra 30 to 100K in monthly recurring revenue for our clients, up to the point where our team has generated over $12 million for our clients worldwide. If you're an e-commerce store making anywhere between 20 to 50K in monthly recurring revenue, and you would like to add an extra 30 to 100 grand in the next six to nine months, feel free to click the link in the description so we can have a chat and determine if your brand could be a good fit for what we do. If that's the case, we will let you know how, and we will take you to the moon. So let's get straight into it. Well, look, many times when you're actually starting your online store, you neglect one very important thing. And many times I see brands, they really don't do any analysis around this. And it's once you're going to start marketing your product, unless you've got unlimited budget and unlimited channels, which is honestly never the case, you must focus on one thing. And it's who is my target audience? And especially where are they hanging out? This is something which is, sounds very basic, but honestly, not many people do this. What I normally see is that most people, when they're starting off, they just say, okay, let's do Facebook ads, Instagram ads, let's launch some ads, let's see how it goes. But who is your target audience? This sounds very basic, but honestly, this is costing brands so much money. If you're able to do a good analysis of where your target audience is hanging out, then you've got half of the battle won. Because if you're going to basically spend big bucks on a platform where your audience is not even hanging out, well, why even bother? You're just going to throw money into the bin, which is not a very smart decision in my opinion. So I want to put an example of this. The other day I went to the gym and after training for a while, I was actually leaving the gym and they gave me a sample, which was like kind of a, a little a protein, like cheese, you know? like yeah like fresh cheese like kind of a cottage but not not like kind of a bit different but well it was a protein cheese no it was a little sample with a kind of a leaflet and when i went and i left i obviously got it because they offered it to me and, and i was thinking about it and i said look these people have nailed down where their target audience is because you're selling something high in protein in the gym where most people try to make like very like diets that are very rich in protein so their chances of converting people with that offer is actually very, very high. But like you could say, okay, no, my target audience, for example, it's maintain that example. So I sell cheese that's high in protein. I would say, no, I just need people that have, like that are looking to look after themselves, you know, and are interested in beauty in general. And if I took that to a beauty salon, for example, I would convert, like my percentages would be extremely lower but the thing is that they've been able to do a very good analysis of where the target audience is and they go and attack that. Because at the end of the day, this, this is actually a pretty big brand. They were in Spain. They're a very like multi-million dollar corporation. And yet they were trying to obviously nail it down as much as possible. So their offer wasn't anything crazy. They were just giving out a sample with a person there, explaining the product and giving you a leaflet but they analyzed where their target audience was extremely, extremely well. This was obviously a brick and mortar business, but this same thing applies for online stores. If you've got an online store and your target audience is 60 plus, well then probably you shouldn't focus on TikTok or you shouldn't focus on probably Instagram. You should probably focus on other channels. And same applies to if your target audience is 10 to 15 year olds. So the first thing is to analyze that. And to analyze that, that is not made based on an assumption. That has to be done with congruent data. No matter if it's your Shopify, Google Analytics, whatever, well, Triple Well, whatever software you want. But that decision has to be made based on data. So it's extremely important that you understand who your target audience is, who you're reaching out, and what are the best channels. Because honestly, just doing that analysis it's already going to make you win half the battle. And you don't really want to waste your time or your, even your resources with people that will never buy the product because they're just not interested on what you are selling. 
So that's extremely important. And then you will just have to do the second part of the strategy. But as I say, being able to do that is already winning 50% of the battle. So well, I hope this has been helpful. Honestly, this is something that's commonly neglected, but it's such an important element, especially for the online space. So I wish you an amazing day, and I'm really looking forward to hear back from you. Bye-bye.